It's Big Board Sports with Roger Weiland on 104.5 The Team. Giants on the road at Green Bay. If there's the headline this weekend, that's it, right? Sunday, 440 Lambeau Field. There's three other wild card matchups, but there's none better. I mean, that's that is that is the one that you circle big time is a rematch from week number five, won by Green Bay, 23 to 16. In my opinion, this Giants team defensively, and they've been really just rock solid all year. They spent $200 million in the offseason to improve their defense. They're better now than they were in week five. You look back at week five against Aaron Rodgers, they they lose Eli Apple in that game. They lose Dominic Rogers Cromartie in that game to injury. Now both those guys are back healthy. I looked at the injury report yesterday, and the Giants are healthy. They're ready to go. Uh, Jenkins a little bit dinged up was on the injury report, but I I think the, I think the defense will play a big game. Can the offense get enough points, and can they can they push aside the controversy in Miami? Seth Walter joins us, uh, Giants uh, beat reporter, New York Daily News. Seth Roger Wyland in Albany ESPN Radio. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, Roger? Good, Seth. Appreciate a few minutes, man. Um, is is the controversy? In Miami, the whole parting with Justin Bieber, how big of a distraction? I know McAdoo and Eli, they've, they've, well, Eli made light of it, but McAdoo saying it's, a, it's their day off, we're, we're moving on. But how big of a distraction do you think this really is for the Giants? Well, I mean, clearly it's a story, right? I mean, I think, you know, even Eli admitted when he saw the pictures, he said, well, I knew it was going to be a story. I knew I was going to have to answer questions about it. Um, you know, we've gone on, you know, with two days of availability where that certainly has been a question and it's been a topic uh, overriding this whole thing. I mean, whether they can, you know, whether it's a distraction, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know that it's like taking away from their, you know, their, their thoughts when they're in a meeting or anything like that. But certainly it's a storyline that I think the Giants would rather not have uh, to deal with right now, even though, you know, they claim to not be Bob Quiet. Yeah, the only problem I have with all of this, Seth, is, you know, I mean, it just could have been a little bit smarter with Odell here and, and Victor. I mean, I think they could have done without the, the headlines and the back pages and the Snapchat and all of that. I, I think this, this could have been handled a little bit better by these guys and, and without parting with Justin Bieber. You know, I think th- I, I just don't understand why they had if, – if, if Odell says, you know, every time he sneezes it's a story, then what's he doing partying with Bieber the week leading up to a playoff game? Yes, Roger. I think that's an excellent point. You know, he said that, he said that line, uh, every time I sneeze – if I sneeze wrong, it's a problem. That was like five hours before he met up with Justin Bieber in a nightclub. I mean, it was dancing on stage. I mean, he brings this upon himself. Like, you know, he wants the attention, and even though he pretends not to. I agree with you on the, you know, on the, on the whole thing. I mean, I think basically it's not – is it, is it really going to affect them on Sunday? No, probably not. But did they have to do it? No, they didn't. And they put themselves in a bad situation. You know, we're talking about drugs on this boat. And, you know, okay, so, you know, you know, we hear what seems like Sterling Shepard declining uh, Adderall, uh, you know, on the tape. And that, that's good. Of course, you should do that. But why do you have to be in that position? Why do you have to do that to yourself and to the team right now, right before the biggest game of the year? All right, let's focus on the game here, Seth. Uh, do you give the Giants a chance, a big chance, no chance at all? What's your thoughts about a, a week five <laughs> rematch at Lambeau Field? Definitely give him a chance. I mean, I think, you know, unquestionably Packers are the favorite in this game, but I think this is a really excellent playoff matchup. Uh, like you said, the Giants are a better team than they were back when they played the Packers the first time around. I think, you know, I, I agree that the defense will show up. I think this game really hinges on Odell Beckham Jr. Can, will, the, will the Giants get the huge plays from him uh, that they need? They need, you know, they have to have one of those – you know, big explosive plays, a touchdown from Odell. That's got to be what you get because the offense really is the question mark here. Uh, the good news for the Giants, Packers secondary is not that great. So I think, you know, they have an opportunity here to win this game. I haven't decided which way I'm going to pick yet, but uh, it should be a really good one. I mean, how many points do you think the Giants offense is going to have to put up? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, you know, if you, uh, how many do they have to put up? 
Gosh, if you could get, I think, you know, if you could put up... Uh, 21? They could put up 20, I was going to say 23. I mean, 23, I think you'd feel really good about that. You know, and even though you're playing Aaron Rodgers, uh, you've got an act, you, know, you have one of the best defenses uh, in the NFL, maybe the best defense left in the NFL uh, <clears throat> behind you. Yeah, something like that, 21, 23. You do that, I think the Giants are in good shape. Because I think ultimately th- this team, it-, it is what it is this year, and that's been defense. I mean, I mean, we've been waiting each and every week for the Giants' offense to explode and put up big numbers. It's just never happened, Seth, but yet they have 11 wins because their defense has been great. Yeah, I mean, this defense is outstanding. I really think that uh, you, you can't give them enough credit. Uh, it, it, you know, it, it, by all the metrics, it has been really good. Uh, they're excellent against the run with David Harrison um, leading the way up, you know, up front there. And then you've got the great secondary. Janoris Jenkins doing, is doing a fabulous job. Uh, you know, he's going to be a key player, too. Again, you know, he's a little banged up. He's going to have to shut down Jordy Nelson. Uh, but that secondary is playing really well. Time with Seth Walter uh, covers the uh, Giants and Giants at Green Bay. Looking forward to the matchup, Seth, with the uh, New York Daily News. The other, the other, the other storyline for me will be Eli Manning because he's won in in Lambeau and he he will not be rattled. I don't think he's had a great season this year for a lot of reasons, but I would not count Eli out of going into Green Bay on Sunday and coming up with a big performance. I think it's it's certainly possible. Um, I mean, the one thing I will say is, you know, I, I do believe Eli Manning is definitely on the decline. I mean, he is a 36-year-old quarterback who is playing worse than he's played in recent years. I mean, people don't seem to want to talk about it, but, you know, you got to face the facts. This guy is on the way down now. And, is, you know, at this point, he's a below-average starting quarterback in the NFL. That can still be okay and good enough to get you a win with this defense but you're right. They're going to need they're going to need a better game from Eli than what he's done in most games uh, this season. And Bart Scott said yesterday the Giants' defense isn't as good as we think. Do you agree? <laughs> no, I don't know <laughs> if Bart Scott is actually watching football based on his comments. I mean, I think he said when's the last time they beat anyone good? I mean, they just they just beat Dallas, uh, Dallas, and Detroit Twice. were the two playoff teams, and Washington, who would have been a playoff team. Uh, and they did it with only half of Odell and half of Janoris Jenkins. Uh, I think he needs to get his facts straight before he starts actually mouthing off about the Giants' defense. And how about this? If the Giants do lose and Odell doesn't play well, you think the uh, party in Miami will come up again? <laughs> yes, you can bank <laughs> on that. <laughs> Seth, I appreciate it, man. We enjoy your work in the New York Daily News, and uh, thanks for a few minutes here on Big Board Sports. See you, Roger. Seth Walter with us.